Shalom. Greetings to you all, beloved in Christ. I hope you are all doing well by the grace of God. Thank God for a new day. Yeah, thank God it is time for prayers. Please, as soon as you join, you invite a sister, you invite a brother. As soon as you join, you invite somebody. Yes, you share to somebody. You tell the person it is time for us to pray. It is time for prayers. There is time for everything. Uh, there is time for everything. Jesus Christ said men ought to pray without ceasing. Men ought to pray without fainting. Men ought to pray. All prayers, men will up to appear before God in prayers. Hallelujah! As you join, let us know where you are connecting us from, and you do it to share for us. You let us know where you are connecting us from. If today is your first time, you are welcome to Giga Global Prayers. We meet every two days. If today is your is if today is your first time, you are welcome. My name is Precious Appear Gifted, the Lioness Preacher. Yes. Yes, if today is your first time, oh, you are welcome. You are welcome to this lovely family. You are welcome. Thank you, Spirit of the Living God. Thank you, Lord God Almighty. We, we invite you, Holy Spirit. We invite you, Lord God Almighty. We invite you our master. We invite you our keeper. We invite you our healer. Come and have your way, Lord God Almighty. Come and have your way, oh Lord. Come and have your way, oh Lord. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Matter all the way from Denmark. God bless you. Uh, Mira, all the way from uh, U.S., United States of America, all the way from United States of Kenya, God bless you, you are welcome, you are welcome, you are welcome, yes, yeah, share the broadcast and invite somebody, distance is never a barrier, mm -hmm. Rosemary, all the way from United States of Nigeria, God bless you, God bless you, or share the broadcast and invite a sister, invite a brother, if today is your first time, you are welcome, if today is your first time of uh, of even coming across us on the media, you are welcome. Oh, all the way from United States of Zambia, uh, Wisteria, God bless you. Spin test, spin test, all the way from United States of Ghana, that is Ghana, yeah, spin test is in Ghana. God bless you. God bless you. Let us know where you are connecting us from as we wait for others to join us. As we wait for them to join us, as you use the two minutes and the three minutes to share, please do well to let us know where you are connecting us from. Let us know where you are connecting us from. As soon as you log in, you do well to click on the share button. You click on the share button. Let, yes, make your nation proud. Make your nation proud. Dada, all the way from United Kingdom. God bless you. God bless you. Whatever you are connecting us from within these two minutes, let us know where you are connecting us from. If today is your first time, also just write first time so that we welcome you. We embrace you into this lovely family. We love each other. We love ourselves. We help ourselves. We intercede for each other. Yes, we intercede for each other at this end time. We believe in building together. We believe in charity. We believe in everything. Patricia, all the way from United States of America, God bless you god bless you god bless you as soon as you join let us know where you are connecting us from and you share the broadcast for us jesus christ loves you we are here to pray we are here to pray this is your fourth time of joining us some wonder god bless you all the way from ghana i know it is it is it is not easy to um to log in from ghana because the data is very expensive god is going to bless you first time cyrus john all the way from united states of kenya god bless you you are welcome united states of south africa oh you are welcome you are welcome i can see the south africans your bus today it was a little bit late but i can see you i can see you yes sibolai i can see you god bless you united uh state of nigeria united kingdom yeah people when they Kingdom. people want the state god bless you wherever you are connecting us from i just want you to know that you are special in the presence of god you are so special you are special 
special in the presence of God. The Father, you are special to God. You are special to us. You are special to God's servant. You are special to anybody chosen to be a leader or to be a ruler or to lead God's people. You are special no matter what you are, no matter your condition. Your condition doesn't have anything to do with the love or the connection between you and your creator. Hallelujah. God bless you. God bless you. Or lift up your hand and say, Lord, I thank you. Wave Jesus and say, Lord, I thank you. Lift up your hand. Wave Jesus and say, Lord, I thank you. Renash love all the way from United States of Ghana. Oh, wave Jesus. Give Jesus a, a wave. Just give a wave and say, Lord God Almighty. I thank you. Today is the 10th of October. The 10th of October. I thank you, Lord God Almighty. Yes, I give you all the praises. I give you all the praises. I thank you for my life. I thank you for the life of my family, the life of my family, the life of my husband, the life of my wife, the life of my children. I thank you, Lord God Almighty. I magnify you, Lord. I give you all the praises. I say glory, 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 glory be to your name. Glory be to your name. Glory be to your name. Thank you, Jesus. Christ, hallelujah. Tonight, you're here to pray on the topic Pharaohs, let me go. Pharaohs, let me go. I am tired of serving you, Pharaohs, let me go. I am tired of being in captivity, Pharaohs, let me go. I am tired of the position that you've tied me, let me go. I am tired of sharing tears. I'm tired of, of, of waiting, soaking my pillows with tears every night. No matter the condition, no matter the situation, follows, let me go. Declare to them, let me go. Wherever they bond you, wherever they've kept you, that situation, that level, declare to the follows, those that put people in captivity, the strong men, the strong women, declare to them, follows, enough is enough let me go enough is enough let my husband go enough is enough let my wife go enough is enough let my son go enough is enough let my daughter go yes i swear the prayer let me go it is it's, it's a package many of you you are walking out of poverty many of you you are walking out of filthiness and sins many of you you are walking out of hardship or you are walking out of uncertainties. You are walking out of so many things that have kept you in one place. The things that keep repeating itself in your life as you declare Follows, let me go. You are walking out of that situation. You are walking out of that misery. You are walking out of that shame. You are walking out of that problem. That situation that have drained you. That battle that have really exhausted you. You are walking out of that situation. Declare, Pharaohs, hear me now. Let me go. 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 I have said you for I, I have said you enough. Let me go. The Israels, they were in captivity for 400 years. When it was time for them to go, the Pharaoh said, No way. You people cannot leave us. Many of you have been in captivity from your childhood ever since you were born and you started they cage you in that bondage and you've been struggling, 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 struggling. You are in your 50s. They are saying, no way. We cannot let you stop serving us. We cannot let you stop doing what you are doing. We cannot allow you to just wake up and say, I have stopped doing this. Let me go. Pharaohs, let me go. I want to walk out of that filthiness. I want to walk out of worldliness. I want to walk out of anything that is standing as a, as a, as a, a stumbling block between me and my creation, between me and, and God Almighty, between me and my next level, between me and my destiny. What is separating me? What is blocking me? What is keeping me in one position like those that are dead of age? What is holding me tight in that position? 
vision, making it difficult for me to see good things, making it difficult for me to move forward, making it difficult for me to smile. Pharaohs, let me go. Strong men behind it, unmovable trees. Unmovable human trees, let me go. Let me go. Let my sons go. Let my daughters go. Let my brothers go. Let my sisters go. Let my father go. Many of you, you are going, you are walking out of something that you want to stop. That is difficult for you to stop. Many of you, you are walking out of infirmity. The bondage of sickness that they've kept you, you are walking out of that bondage. You are walking out of captivity where they have kept you captive that you can't escape. Let me go. Let me go, Pharaohs. Let me go, Pharaohs. Let me go. Let me pass through. It is time for me to move forward. It is time for me to change things in my life. It is time for me to surrender and rededicate my life to Christ. Let me go, Pharaohs. It is time for me to seek my creator. It is time for me to draw closer to God. It is time for me to experience the unmerited favor of God. Let me go, Pharaohs. Hey. Let me go. It is time for my life to shine. It is time for me to experience good things in my life. Let me go. Pharaohs, who are the pharaohs? Pharaohs are the strong men in our family. Pharaohs are the strong men in our life. Pharaohs are, are, are the captain of the head of the witches. Captain of the head of the enemy. Captains, the head, the rulers. Those that, that make sure you do not escape. Those that make sure that, that, that make sure the curses in the family is working in your life. Those that make sure that, that see to it that you are working through the, the broad line, the curses in the broad line of your father, the curses in the broad line of your mother, the demons, human demons that are in charge of seeing to it that that thing is working in your life. Human demons that sees to it that the, the bedding place on you is really, really drained, like it, like it's really, really happy, uh, heavy on your head. Those that monitor, those that check on you, the demons that have been assigned specifically for you, specifically for your mother's children or your father's children. That strong man is the pharaohs today. I want you to declare to them, let me go. That strong woman that is preventing everybody, everybody born with a star in that family, that strong woman will rise up. Anybody born with, born with a great and a bright star, they are like mm -hmm. the pharaohs. They are like the pharaohs when they see that any great king ah, has emerged. Wherever you are, they will make sure they come and kill you. They are like the herald mm -hmm. when they see you. Hey, wherever you are, they will come and overcome you. Say, pharaohs, enough is enough. Let me go. Enough is enough. Grab my way. Enough is enough. Open doors. Open the door that you have shut. Open mm -hmm. the door that you are keeping. The door that you are keeping to block me, oh pharaohs, I command you, leave the entrance, leave the gate, leave the door, leave the gate, leave my life. I command you, leave the life of my sons, the life of my daughters, the life of my father, or my mother, or my brothers and sisters, leave my life. Let me go. Pharaohs, let me go. It is time for me to shine. It is time. It is time for me to see the goodness of God in my life. It is time for me to smile. I have weeped for long. I have endured all these challenges for long. It is time. I have dwelt in darkness for ages. It is time. It is time for my star to shine. It is time for me to meet destiny helpers. It is time for me to experience fire.
financial breakthrough. It is time for me to receive help. It is time for me to reap the good thing that I saw it. The good thing that I saw it. The investment I did in the life of people. Pharaohs, it is time for me to reap it. Lamentation chapter 3. The book of Lamentation chapter 3. Lamentation chapter 3 verse 1 going say, I am the man that have seen affliction by the rod of his wrath. I am the man that have seen affliction by the rod of his wrath. Some of the wrath it is from God, as I explained today. And some of it also, it is counterfeit from the devil. It is counterfeit because the Bible said the devil came to steal, to kill, and to destroy. They will first of all come and steal you from God. When they steal you from God and cut the connection between you and God, the next thing is making life bitter for you, afflicting you. So the, the, the preacher was lamenting that I am the man that has seen affliction. I have seen humiliation. I have seen rejection. I have seen embarrassment in my life. I have seen people abusing me verbally in my presence. I am the man that I have seen rejection, difficulties. I am the man that I have endured hardship for long. I am the man. I work all right, but I don't get that money. I work all right. When it is time for them to pay me, it turns to another story. I do all that I'm supposed to do, but nobody even show and even appreciate. People hit me for no reason. People discriminate me. I am the man that have, uh, uh, that have seen affliction. I've been afflicted by the world of his wrath. He said he had led me and brought me into darkness. He has led me and brought me into darkness, but not in light. He has led me. They have stolen us from Christ and they have led us into thick darkness where there is no hope. Thick darkness where we can't find our way out. Thick darkness where we cannot even, even, even know how our life and our destiny is going to end. He has led us into take darkness. Say, Lord God Almighty, bring me back to your light. Bring me back to your light. Wherever they have led me into darkness, bring me back into the light. Bring me back into the light. Lead me, Lord, into your light. Lead my family, Lord, into your light. Lead my children, Lord, into your light. Lead my husband, Lord, into your dear light. Lead my wife. Lead us, O oh Lord. Wherever they have led us, where they have misled us, wherever they have misled us into darkness, that we can find our way home, that we are finding it difficult ah, to know our way. Lead us back to your light, oh Lord. Lead us back to where we used to receive offers. We, re we used to meet destiny helpers. Bring us back to that light, the position you praise us, that people used to know us, people used to remember us, people used to assist us. Bring me back to that position, the position that my father used to help me, my sister used to help me, my auntie used to help me, my grandfather used to help me, my husband used to assist me, my wife used to assist me. Bring me back to that light. Hey, Zibreyande, Hikadadabo, Zuri Makataya Malianta Mama Kabriade, bring me back. Oh Lord, where the devil has misled me, no matter the way they deceive me to take me to that place, Lord God Almighty, bring me back. Bring me back to your light. He had led me and brought me into darkness, not into light. He said, surely against me is he turned, he turned his hands against me all day. They turned their hands against us all day. When something good is coming in our life, they bring their hands to take it away. Whenever we are moving forward, they rise up and come and block us. 
Whatever, whenever something good is coming, they appear and they snatch it from your hands. And they close the door. They take it from your hands. They leave you empty. They rob you of everything, every good thing in you. They leave you in the state ah, that you beg and eat. It say on daily basis, the hand of the devil is heavy on me. He said, my flesh and my skin had he made old. He had broken my bones. He had built it against me and compassed me with gall and travail. He has built it against me. Many people, there is a wall. There is a specific wall that needs to be broken before you can reach your next level. Many of you, there is a wall. There is something separating you and your destiny helper. There is something between you and your creator. So when you scream, when you cry, your creator does not hear you because there is a wall. The devil has built the wall. Satan has rise up to build the wall. The enemy in your father's house, enemies in your mother's house have risen just to combine, to come together, to build the wall, to broke you say lord god almighty let every wall that has been built to block my forward movement let that wall let that fence let it fall let it fall let it fall let it fall every wall that has been built to block my forward movement lord god almighty let that wall let it fall by fire let it fall by tender let every wall separating me and my destiny helpers let every wall separating me and my rightful partner let every wall build it, separating me from my husband. Let that wall be broken. Let every wall build it to separate me from my wife. Let that wall be broken now. Let every wall that is being built, my God, to separate me from my children, to separate me from my son, to separate me from my daughter. As I pray now, my father, my maker, let that wall fall now. Let that wall fall now. Let every barrier separating me, blocking me, resisting me, let that resistance, let it break, let it break, let it break, let that resistance, let it break, the gate of hell, let it fall, the Jerichos, let it fall, the gate of hell, let it fall, the Jerichos, let it fall, every wall, every wall, let that wall, demonic wall, let it fall, let it fall, let it fall, let it break, let it break, by power and authority, let Kabriate, Makapaya dosa, len toro po masun diamond, so broko to lian tarma makapam, any wall separating me from my destiny helper, my destiny helper, my rightful wife, my rightful husband, let that wall, let that wall, my God, fall now, fall now, fall now, the gate of hell, oh my God, let not the gate of hell, prevail over my destiny let not the gate of hell prevail over my marriage let not the gate of hell prevail over your ministry let not the gate of hell prevail over my children's destiny prevail over my husband's destiny my wife's destiny the gate of hell the gate of hell the gate of hell he cut the double let not the gate of hell, Lord God Almighty, prevail over my children, prevail over my life. I declare victory over every long standing wall. I declare victory over every Jericho blocking my forward movement. I, I declare victory over every long standing resistance resisting me from moving to my next level, from moving forward in life from multiplying in life from increasing in life in the name of Jesus Christ I declare victory I declare victory I declare victory I declare victory
victory. I declare victory. I declare victory. Le kabiyadeng, makapa yadosa. Le dorobo masul diamond. So broken to liandar makapa. Let the wall dividing me, breaking me. Let the wall break into pieces, break into pieces. As that God broke into pieces, all oh, in the presence of the ark of the covenant. Let every wall standing before me. Let it break. Let it fall. The walls of rejection. Hey. Let the walls of rejection be broken. Ah, let the walls of denial, denial, denial. Let these walls be broken of my life. Be broken of my life. Let the walls, my God, my God, the tall mountains, the tall mountains, the tall mountains of disappointment. Let it come down. Let it come down. The tall mountains. Of failure in life, financial difficulties, financial difficulties. Let it fall in the name of Jesus Christ. Let the long standing mountain, oh my God, of rejection, of rejection in my life, in my life, my God, let that wall, let it fall, let it fall. He cut the bone, see brilliant day, rub up a right now. Let every mountain that is difficult. For me to go through, that is difficult. For me to cross, that is difficult. For me to move forward in the name of Jesus Christ. Let it come down. Let it come down. Let it come down. Every mountain, every mountain, every mountain blocking my forward movement, blocking me from moving forward in business, from moving forward in me. Ministry from moving forward in politics, from receiving promotion in my working place. My God, let that wall for now disappear. Let it disappear. Let it disappear. Let it disappear. Let it disappear right now. He got that double. See, pray and then. Let every long standing wall, hey, wall, mountains, fence, fence, my God, my God, my God, the gate of brass, the gate of iron. That is broken my forward movement. Let it fall by power and authority. Let it come down. What is limiting people in my father's background? Let that heavy mountain. Let it disappear. Let it disappear. What is broken people from my mother's background? Let that mountain, human mountain, human obstacle, human obstacle, right now. Let it disappear. Let it fall. Let it fall. Let it fall. Say, Lord God Almighty, let the unmovable trees in my father's house, the unmovable human trees, the unmovable human mountains, human mountains, human obstacles, human beings that are demonic trees in our life, human beings that are blockages, human beings that are walls of Jericho, Preventing us from reaching the next level. Human beings, that is unmovable trees. Hey, select the unmovable tree. Broken my life. Be moved. Be moved. Be moved. Be moved. The unmovable tree. The unmovable tree. The unmovable human demon. Human demon. Witchcraft power. Strong man. Strong woman. My God. From the four corners of this earth. Will live the arm. In the name of Jesus Christ. Let them surrender. 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 He got that double. See, pray and day. Rababo. Let them surrender right now by power and authority. Every human mountain in front of you. Let them surrender. Let them surrender. Whether it's your sister, whether it's your brother, whether it's your father, whether it's your mother. In the name of Jesus, let them surrender, let them surrender by power 
and authority. We command them, surrender, surrender in the name of Jesus. Surrender, live our life, live our life, live our life, live our life, live my marriage, live my business, live my marriage, live my business. Human mountains that has been fighting me from my childhood in my father's house from my mother's house that is fighting every good star they don't want stars there are many families that don't want to see a good uh, uh, somebody with talent if you don't pray they will they, they will kill you in your team they will kill you in your early 20s they will kill you in your early 30s they don't want to see anybody with a genuine star they carry the spirit of herald share the broadcast Share the broadcast for me. You know, our page have been restricted. When they leave the band, it has been restricted. Mm -hmm. So you do well to help me by sharing. Share so that we get all our members back. Yeah, you share for me. Yes, there are people with the spirit of Herod. Just imagine when Jesus Christ was born. As soon as Herod heard in the ears that a king is born. A new king is born. He, he knew that this king would definitely come and, 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 and demote him. This king will come and make him irrelevant. So he planned of killing him. He did not plan of allowing that king to live. Oh, he planned of killing him. There are people around you with the spirit of Herod. There are pastors, your pastors, your spiritual fathers. I want to speak the real truth. There are people you call them spiritual father, spiritual mother. Hey, what to carry because of the higher grace, higher oil within you. That person has seen and he's planning how to uh, how to eliminate you because he doesn't want what, what is in you to come out. There are people you call my father, my father. Hey, my spiritual father, oh, my spiritual madam. May God open your eyes to see them. May God open your eyes to see them. Because of what you carry, they hate you. They smile at you at your back. They are planning, they are stabbing you. They are killing you. The herald. Hey. He cut a double. them. Say, let the herald. The herald planning my demise. The herald devising my head. The herald planning to kill me wherever they are. Let them fall into their own trap. Let them fall into their own snail. Let the herald who doesn't want my star to shine, who doesn't want me to rule, who doesn't want me to prosper, who doesn't want me to live, let them, let them be put to their airy grave in the name of Jesus. Jesus Christ, wherever they are, in the north, we command the sword, in the south, we command the sword, in the east, we command the sword, let the sword of God go after them, the Herodians, the Herodians, the Herodians, let the sword, let the anger, let the wrath go after them, in the north, set them, in the south, Say them wherever they are. He got that double. See, pray and then. Rababo. Rababo. Anybody who doesn't want your glory to shine. Wherever they are. Wherever they are. Let the wrath of God. Let the tender of God. Let the fire of God go after them. Let the demons. The demons from the kingdom of Elohim be released to torment them. Tormenting demons. We command them. We command we command them, we command them, wherever they are, in the north, in the south, in the east, in the west, let the sword, let the sword go after them, go after them, go after them, go after them, he cut that double. Herod didn't die a natural death because of his wickedness, because of his wickedness. Herod rotted in the presence of the people. The Bible said, the day the people began to praise him, he felt within his heart, I'm a God. I'm a God and instantly the wrath of God fell mm -hmm. upon him. 
Instantly, the wrath of God fell upon him. It is time for the wrath of God to fall upon some specific people. At this time, some Herod needs to die so that Jesus Christ can return to his position. Some Herod, they need to die so that you have peace and return back to your husband's house. There are some Herod in your husband's family that they need to die so that you can go back. Little Jesus can go back. You can go back. Yes. When the Bible said when Joseph and Mary heard that Herod is dead, they jubilated physically. They were happy because somebody that was after their, their baby. And because they escaped, he went and killed all the children that are born to a two years. He killed all of them. He killed all of them, innocent children, innocent children. Some Herod needs to go. Some Herods, they need to paralyze. Some people that has been visiting Babalao on your, on your head. People that have been visiting San Gomez. People that has been visiting secret place. Purposely to bring you down. Those that has fold their hands. Fold their legs in secret place. Let them paralyze in the act of chanting. Those chanting on your head. Those chanting on the head of your husband. Those that has fold their hands in a yoga form. Chanting to bring you down. Chanting, releasing all kinds of words. Reciting all kinds of words because of you. Let them paralyze. Let the anger of God meet them in their secret room. Let the wrath of God meet them in their secret room. Let the anger of God go after them as they have folded their legs. My God, making incantation on your head, reciting words in your name, mentioning your name, and reciting words in the name of Jesus Christ. Let tender strike them. Let fire strike them. Let fire. Let tender. Let the lightning. Let the smoke with the lightning of God. My God, enter their secret room. Enter their room. Enter their room. Enter their room. Enter their room. room. Let them paralyze. Let them paralyze. Let them not return as they went there are some evil men you need not to spare them all there are some evil men they will fold their legs and do their, their hands with styles they will do their hands they will never speak they will never speak they will never even approach you for you to know that they will, they will fight you they just go because they've gotten witchcraft power because they've joined a secret court because they belong to a secret court so they do not respect anything they don't care about who you are they don't want you to speak anything concerning them hey say who are you Tell them who are you tell them who are you you human mountain hey no matter how taller you are, no matter how big you are, today you fall. Today you fall. Today you fall. If Dagon, Dagon was powerful, Dagon was the ghost of the Philistines. They trusted in Dagon. They put all their faith in Dagon. They believed in Dagon. They thought Dagon was, was, was higher than Yahweh, the almighty God, until the Ark of the Covenant approached him. Or approach it until the ark of covenant was placed in front of him. Dagon couldn't stand. If Dagon couldn't stand, all before our God, let everybody using the power of Dagon, using the spirit of Baal, the spirit of Baal to interfere your affairs, to block you, to stop you, to fight you, to manipulate your marriage, to manipulate the mind of your husband against you, or manipulate the mind of your wife against you. Let them paralyze. Let their power be broken. Let them lose their power. Let the Holy Ghost fire strike them. Strike them. Strip them of their powers. Let their powers be taken away from their hands. Let their horn be cut off. Let their backbone be broken. Let their mouth be sealed forever. In the name of Jesus Christ. He cut that bow. See, pray and then. 
Let people tell you you are mad. You are crazy for Christ. Let people tell you whatever they want to tell you. Do not listen to what they are saying. They are the people rather fighting you. That you need to rise up and fight them back. There are people that has vowed not to let you live. We vow today not to let them live. Anybody that has vowed not to let you live and prosper. Ah, may God strip them of their wealth. May God strip them naked of everything that they have gathered. Anybody that have vowed not to let you have husbands, may God strip them of every husband they have, every wife they have, every children. May God strip them of what belongs to them, what they have gathered, what they have gathered. May they be stripped off. He Zebra them. Let them be stripped off. Say, Lord God Almighty, as I speak now, I command the Holy Ghost, your fire, your fire will to enter my father's background your fireworks to enter my mother's background any strong man there that has been selling us out to strangers strong man in my father's house or strong woman that has been selling us out for strangers to affect us strangers to abuse us strangers to humiliate us let that strong man in my father's house be consumed by fire let that strong woman in my mother's family be consumed by fire in the name of jesus christ let that strong man receive fire receive fire let the tormenting fire from your kingdom oh lord torment them let them not feel comfortable wherever they are from the north from the south, from the east, from the west, if they are hiding in the rocks, on top of a tree, in the meeting place, wherever they are, let the fire go after them. Holy Ghost fire, the fireworks, the consuming fire, go after them in their secret room, in their secret room, in their court room, in their meeting place. We scatter them, we release fire there in their secret place, the charlatan's office. Oh my God, let there be fire, let the fire. Let there be explosion. We scatter everything, every gadget. We scatter, we scatter, we scatter, we scatter every gadget, every gadget, every gadget, every monitoring gadget, every gadget that they're using to fight you. My God, let the fire consume it, scatter it. Let there be destruction in their camp where they are hidden. Let there be tsunami. Let there be earthquake. Let the earthquake. Let the strand of your hair there are some people they've managed to get a strand of your hair and they are using to fight your finances do you know there are some people that have managed to get some women's uh, used sanitary pad yes <coughs> some women use sanitary pad And they are using to manipulate them. They can't even get husbands. Not even talking of giving birth. Every man that comes their way will just go. Because the devil have taken their blood. Their blood is in a specific kingdom. A specific kingdom. <coughs> when I see so many people, so many churches on the media, 
that that they, they, they keep requesting or asking their children, how many of you are virgins and innocent children out of ignorance? They just rise up and say, I'm a virgin. And they keep monitoring that child. As soon as that child gets her menstruation, her first menstruation, when they manage to get that used sanitary pad, the pad that she used for her menstruation, that is the end of that child. Even if that child grows up and struggles to get a husband, that child will find it difficult to get the fruit of the womb. If that child manage to break through to travel to abroad, she will go and return with empty handed. Some of them, they, they don't take their use sanitary paddle. They, they manage to break the virginity of those girls. And they wipe the fluid and they go and put it on an evil pot, a pot in an evil kingdom. Many of you, as I'm speaking to you, your sanitary pad, your used sanitary pad, your blood is in that kingdom crying for you. Your blood is screaming, screaming, screaming. Evil world, we are sending fire once again. <clears throat> Today, we didn't come and joke. Oh, just one hour. After one hour, we have 15 minutes to close. After one hour, we go. After one hour, we go. God willing, tomorrow we'll come for Bible studies. We are not joking. So when you join, you just share. Just click on the share. Those that cannot watch us live, they watch it after. If you can't watch us live after this, you can go for you can go to YouTube. All the videos that we've been having on Facebook, we repost it. When you search precious appear gifty, precious appear gifty on YouTube, you see all our prayers. When you don't have time to catch us live, you watch it, you rewatch it. After you post it on YouTube, search Precious Appear Gifty. Precious Appear Gifty Ministry. Hallelujah. Say, Lord God Almighty, I sent your fire now into every evil kingdom, every demonic kingdom, or satanic kingdom that you are keeping my blood. Every kingdom that they are keeping my blood or they are keeping the strand of my hair as a man. My God, let that kingdom catch fire. Let that kingdom catch fire. Let that kingdom catch fire. Every satanic kingdom that they are keeping my blood, that they've kept my, my used sanitary pad. Let that kingdom, let it catch fire. Every demonic kingdom that they praise my used sanitary pad on a demonic altar that is screaming for me that is crying that is fighting against my progress fighting against my blessing fighting against my marriage fighting against every good thing that comes in my life lord god almighty let that altar in that satanic kingdom in that demonic kingdom god fire god fire god fire god fire let every kingdom that they've kept the strand of my hair the hem of my clothing, the use sanitary pad, let that altar in that kingdom catch fire, catch fire, catch fire, catch fire. Satanic kingdom, where they are using my blood to manipulate me, to manipulate my cycle, to manipulate my birth, to manipulate my marriage. Let that kingdom and that altar catch fire, catch fire. He got that double, see, pray and day, catch fire, rub up. Let the God fire, Holy Ghost 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 fire. Let that kingdom, let that kingdom, ah, God fire, God fire, God fire, God fire, God fire. Say, Lord God Almighty. Hey, hey. Lord God Almighty, whenever anybody have taken money from me, being money that you gave to them as a gift, or money that you gave to them, or through them to give to your mom, or through them to give to your daddy, or through them to give to your children, that you are using that money. They've taken that money to a shrine, a babalao, a sangoma, just to fight you. Say, Lord God Almighty, any altar, any altar fighting my finances, fighting my, my, my financial breakthrough, 
any altar that is producing difficulties, financial crisis for my life, let that evil altar let it catch fire now. Whenever I gave money to anybody that the person used that money or place it on altar, place it on demonic altar just to extract for me, just to take money from me, just for me to stop caring for my family and come and care for them. Lord God Almighty, let this evil altar be consumed by fire, be consumed by fire, be consumed by fire. Let this demonic altar be consumed by fire, scattered 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 by fire. Say, Lord God Almighty, let anybody manipulating me, manipulating me, using the gift I gave to him or her, being my ex fiancé being my ex-husband, being my ex-wife, being my mother, being my father, anybody using a gift that I have given to that person to manipulate me, let what they've released on me backfire. Let what they've sent into my life, let it backfire. Let what they have released to come and attack me, to come and fight me, let it go back to the center. 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 Open your mouth, command it. Anything that they have released to come and attack you. Home and abroad. Home and abroad. Let it bounce back. Let it bounce back. Let it go 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 back. Return it. Return it. Return it, return it, return it. Anybody that have given you a gift, let's come again. There are some people before they plan of giving you gift, they go and and and, and, and recite words. They recite words on that thing before they give to you. As soon as you wear that thing, you see, you lose your mind. As soon as you use that thing on you, it takes a greater thing from you. Many people, before they even give you a gift, this usually happens after marriage. They, they present some parcels to give to couples during their marriage. Some of these parcels, when they, when they give to you and you receive it as the bride, when you come home, you can never have a child. Hey, you'll be battling with unfruitfulness. When you meet with your husband, that thing will come out. The fluid that is supposed to form babies in your womb will drain. They will use that thing to exchange. They used to exchange. Many of them, it is handkerchief. It is like a, a tissue they will come and use to wipe your face. That is all. As soon as they wipe off that is all. Many of these things, this job, it is being done by, uh, by uh, how do you say, deaconesses in the church. Pastor's wife, that, are, that belongs to evil kingdom. Ushers in the church that are possessed. Yes. Ushers that are possessed. Or the bridegroom, the best man and the maid. The maid that you go and take. They, 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 they visit the maid in a secret place. You know, we need this. So use this handkerchief. This is what you are going to use. Wipe her face. So you may think, oh, my maid, she's just wiping some, some sweat from me. She is on a mission to exchange something. That is why many people, after wedding, that is how their misery starts. After, after their engagement or after their wedding, when they come home, everything changed. Their husband changed or their wife changed. They don't see themselves again as couples. They don't see as couples something was exchanged. They exchanged something. They used a gift to exchange something in your marriage, to exchange something in your, your life. That is why many of you, when dating, you know you love each other. You will never marry your enemy. Nobody, nobody will accept to marry his or her enemy. No. You are friends. You love each other. But after marriage, it's like, mm, 
doesn't want to see the face. What happened? Well, Somebody sure. have used something to exchange that love. They've used gifts. They've used uh, parcels to come and take something from your life. I am explaining this because I want us to pray one, one prayer point. I want us to pray one prayer point. Many people also, after they give birth, when they give birth, after they finish giving birth, and people begin to give them gift. When people begin to give them gift, oh, I give you this, I give you that, I want to give you this, I want to give you that. As people begin to give gift, People use it to exchange some of them their children's glory, some of them their, hus their husband, some of them the wife. I remember when I gave birth to my, my son. I was there in the night, I was asleep, and I got a revelation. I saw an old woman. The old woman just came with this African clothing, this African clothes around her waist. As soon as she appeared to me in the dream, my baby was on my, my lap like this, and I was seated. And she started unfolding her clothes. She unfolded it, and she removed something like a black, something tied in a, a black plastic. She removed it, and she said, take it. And I asked her, what is this? She said, this is witchcraft. You say to manipulate your husband. I said, me? Take witchcraft to manipulate my husband. She said, yes. And you have three conditions. It's either you take it to manipulate him or we kill him. Or we allow him to go to prison. Or we kill your son. The new baby that is born. It was day three as I came from the hospital. The third day that I had that encounter. I said, no way. She said, choose one. I said, I'm not going to choose any of it. I cannot sit and watch my husband go to prison. I cannot sit and watch my husband to be, to die, to be a, a, a premature widow. I can't. And I cannot give my son how I suffered before I gave birth to this child. I cannot give this child. So she said, you can't. I said, yes. She said, then prepare to fight with me. So she started pulling her throat. Like, you know, African women, when they want to fight with you, how they start reacting. So I just put my baby in the court, ready to fight with her. I saw the lady just pass my back, pick my baby, hit, just lift my baby high and hit my baby on the ground. And my baby screamed. When my baby screamed, I wake up and the child was crying. And I wake up and discover my baby can't see again. The eye was closed. The eyes was closed. I called my husband on the phone. I said, this is what I've seen. And you see what the child, the child cried and cried and cried till morning. I wake up at Zali 3.48. 3.48, I wake up. And I called my husband because my husband wasn't there. He was living in a different city working there. He used to come on weekends, my ex-husband. Used to come on weekends. I was there with my mother-in-law. She was the one caring for me. I don't know. I can't say if it is there because it wasn't her face. It was another woman. And the next day, my mother-in-law stopped bathing my child. She stopped coming to my house. She stopped coming. She stopped coming. She stopped coming. I called my husband. My husband came for one week. My child cannot see again. We took the child to different, different, different hospitals. Different, different hospitals. They gave us so many medication. They said, what happened? I, I can't explain. I said, I just wake up and I saw the child like this. They said, ah, the child, uh, we, 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 we examined the child before we, we, you, you take the child home. What happened? What did you put on the child? What did you do? I didn't do anything. For one month, two weeks, my son was not seen. So my mother, I told my mother, come, come to my aid. My mom said, I'm not coming. Because your mother-in-law said, when I come for you to the village, you never return to that house again. So I'm not coming. I said, hey, what am I going through? So I have to pack my things myself and relocate to my mom. I relocated to my mom. When I went, my daddy took my child, went to his farm. You know where his farm is? There is a big river there. 
there is a big river then my father went and picked that river washed the face of that child he washed the face of my child he went to the bush he cast some some tree when you pull it to feel whitish water coming inside he just put on the eye of my child and my child eye came back to normal his eyes came back to normal sometimes the gift people give to us when we give birth they used to exchange the glory of our children they used to exchange good things in the life of our children good thing in the life of our children oh uh, today i didn't bring anything oh. just just a minute wait for me <laughs> Wait for me. <clears throat> Wait for me. I'm coming to do something. Hi. You see the off my light, oh. This way, oh. Just a minute. Yes. <clears throat> my light just went off. Hey. Just a minute. <coughs> Just a minute. We are going to pray one prayer point. We are going to pray one prayer point. We are going to pray one prayer. Take ten. Take ten. This is ten. Take ten. This ten you can go and give to the people that have been begging. Beggars, or you can put in our, any of our, our branches, our foundation team. After the prayer, you can put any of our, our foundation team. If Nigeria, if Ghana, if Zambia, if take just 10. This is 10. This is 10. Take 10. Yes. Take 10. Take 10. Put it in front of your phone. Just, just put it there. Take 10 and put it there. After that, if you if you cannot send it, just go and give to a, a beggar in the street. Somebody that will not use for this. No. Don't give to somebody that will use for this. Give to somebody that will use to buy food to eat. A beggar or a needy. Or you can deposit in any of our branches, our foundation, as you have been doing to all our direction. Let us pray. Say, Lord God Almighty, any gift, any gift that I, precious, appear gifty, I have received that I've exchanged my glory. I return that gift through this money in my hand. Any gift that I have received that I've taken some great things in my life. As I return this money to a needy, let my glory be restored back. Let whatever gift they gave to me I'm using this money in my hand, Lord. If you don't have 10, you can take 50, you can take 100. Any amount you have, just take it. Any amount you have, just take it. If you can if you don't have 10, you can use 50, you can use 30, you can use 40. You can any any amount that you feel you feel within you to use it. Just use it. And say, Lord God Almighty, this money in my hand, any gift that I have received, I precious appear gifty. Mention your name. Any gift that I have received that they used to exchange my glory or exchange my wealth or exchange my riches or exchange every good thing in my life. Lord God Almighty, as I deposit this money, let let it be, I refound it and let my glory be released back to me. Let whatever they've taken from my life be restored. Let what they've exchanged in my life, let it be restored back. As I refound this money, as I refound this money, as I refound this money, Lord God Almighty, let it be released back. 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 As I refound this money, as I deposit this money in my hand, Father, let it go through spiritual account. Wherever that anybody have given me money to exchange the fruit of my womb. Those that are using for the fruit of the womb, you can use 100. 100 or 50. If you are using for a child, use 10. If you are using for your child, me, I'm using this for my son. I'm using this for my son. If you are using for a child, use 10. If you are using for the fruit of the womb, use 50 or 100. Use 50 or 100. If you are using for the fruit of the womb, if you are using for the fruit of the womb, use 50 or 100. If you are using for marriage, listen to me. If you are using for marriage, use three, three figure. 
perfect figure. Perfect. Three can be 30. If you are using for marriage, if they've taken, if they've given you any gift to exchange your marriage, use 30. Three, perfect. Perfect. Three means perfect. You can use 30. If you are for marriage, use 30. If you are for the fruit of the womb, use 50. If you are for a child, if you are using for your child, as I'm using this for my child, use 10. If you are using for a child, those that you see yourself in dream, people shaving the hair of your child. People, if you don't have cash, take a paper and write the amount on it. Take a paper, you can just transfer it you can transfer it later through your account but use something to represent just take a paper the one that you want to stand for just take a paper and write the figure on it take some book take a piece of paper just write if you're using for marriage if you're using for marriage marriage it is perfect it must be perfect or you can use your card just use your card hold your card hold your card hold your card if you are using for marriage perfect Perfect is number three. Use 30. Perfect, 30. If you are using for a child, a child, a child's glory, something that they've exchanged from the life of your child, use 10. As I'm using 10 for my son. If you are using for a child, use 10. If you are using for your glory, your marriage, many of you that sees yourself, people shaving your head in dream. You know, we don't usually do directions. Direction don't come. Direction from God, it doesn't come always. Once a while it comes, any direction that comes, take part. Take part, yes. If you are using those that keep seeing yourself, people shaving your hair in dream, use 30. Use 30. Use 30. Hold your card after you transfer 30. You can transfer to a foundation account in Nigeria, Zambia, uh, South Africa, uh, Sandwave, uh, Tap Taps, and whatever you want to do after after it. Just let's focus. After it, you can contact me. I will show you how you can you can just get it. About yourself, what you are using for yourself, it must you must have a specific thing that you are using for. If it is marriage, it is 30. If it is for the fruit of the womb, it's 50 or 100. For the fruit of the womb, these two figures, either you use 50 or you use 100. For the fruit of the womb, those that you, you feel somebody have exchanged your glory or somebody have taken your womb or somebody have just used money to buy your womb, you are refunding this thing back. You are refunding the money back. You are refunding it back to correct what they have taken from you. What they have taken from you. Like I have given you this as an ecorator. And I've taken something from you. I have to return this to you and take what belongs to me. If you take my cloth and give me 10, and I think, no, my cloth is my cloth wealth more than this 10. I must return your 10 to you and take my cloth back. This is what you are doing now. This is what you are doing now. This is what you are doing now. If yours is the fruit of the womb, you use 50. I think that's the least figure. Use 50. Use 50. Anybody that have given you gifts to exchange your fruit of your womb, to make you remain unfruitful, to make you remain barren. Say, Lord God Almighty, as I return this money through the altar of Gega, let whatever they've taken from me be released back. Let whatever they've taken from me, let it be released back. As I return this money through the altar of Gega, Lord God Almighty, let everything that they've stolen from the life of my son, the life of my daughters, let it be returned back. Let it be released back. Let everything that they've stolen from my life, Lord God Almighty, my glory, my finances, as I hold this 50, Lord, let it be restored back for me. Many of you that sell, many of you that are doing business, that money does not stay in your hand. Many of you that are doing business, that money do not stay in your hand. Use 50. Use 50. Use 50. Man, many of you that do business, you are into business, but money do not stay in your hand. You get that money, the money just, it just disappear. 
You struggled and struggled and struggled and struggled. You can't get money. Use 50. If you want the PayPal, I'll give you PayPal. If you want send wave, I'll give you. If you want word remit, I'll give you after it. After it, just chat me. Just say, Lord God Almighty, as I refund this money in my hand through the altar of Gega, Lord God Almighty, let everything that they've taken from my hand be released back. Let it 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 be released back. With the compensation fee. As the Philistines release the Ark of the Covenant of God with the compensation fee, whatever they've taken from my life, from my son's life, from my husband's life, from my marriage, from my business, Lord God Almighty, as I give this offering, Lord, let it be released back, let it be released back, let it be released back, let it be restored back in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Say, so Lord God Almighty. Right now, right now, let there be a meeting in the camp, in every camp that they are holding something that belongs to me. Let there be a meeting on how they are going to release it back to me. Let there be a meeting on how they are going to release it back to my son, back to my, my daughter, back to my husband, back to my wife, back to my children. In the name of Jesus Christ. Those of you that are with marital issues, those of you that are with marital issues, those of you that somebody wants to take your wife or somebody wants to take your husband, those of you that somebody wants to take your husband, you take that money, the same money. You take 50 or 100. Take 50 or 100. Take 50 or 100 and say, Lord God Almighty, say after me, Lord God Almighty, this money in my hand, I used to summon anybody that wants to take my husband from me. I summon anybody that wants to take my husband from me. I summon anybody that want to take my wife from me. Anybody that want to take what belongs to me. It is error in your sight for somebody to take what belongs to me. Anybody who wants to take what belongs to me, I summon the person through the altar of Gagal. I summon that person through the altar of Gagal. I summon that person through the altar of Gagal. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, all those that people have taken your money, that they do not want to refund it. You went into business with somebody. Or you wanted a person to do something for you. The person never produces it. Or he never gives you. He, planned, he promised to take you abroad. Or take your son abroad. Or take your daughter abroad. You gave the money to the person. The person never take your son or your husband and he or she has refused to release the money summon them take any money off your heart i want you to do it from your heart that thing do it from your heart lord god almighty i summon so so mention the name this money in my hand i summon that person through the altar of gega lord god almighty wherever that person is let my money with him be released. Let him give me my deal. Let him give what belongs to me. Let him give what belongs to my wife. Let him give what belongs to my children. Let my money be refound. My money with him that he has refused to pick my call. My goods with them that he have refused to pick my call. I summon them through the altar of Gega. Through the altar of Gega. Let them release with the compensation. Let them release with the compensation possession in Jesus Christ mighty name those that agent those that are dealing with agent many of these agents they have rings many of these agents they have rings on their fingers when you try to when you try to attack them when they chop your money they speak to that ring to manipulate you just for you to forget for you to forget your money. Many businessmen that we do business with, many businesswomen, they have altars that they have sacrificed their souls. 
that are standing beside them, behind them, in that business that they are doing. So when you go into business and you give your money to them, and they take it, and you, you, you try to use force, use police, they will kill you if you are not strong. If you are not strong, I'm telling you the truth. I will never lie to you. I'm speaking the real truth. That is how many people, they, they own you. They own you. They will tell you, oh, next week come for your money. If God is done with you, by the time next week come, you'll be in your grave. You'll be in your grave. They will go and, and speak on their ring. They will go and speak on their graven image that they've given to them. They will go and they speak on something in their room. So just to manipulate you. Yes. That is why many people, many business people, and many notorious men, when they take your money and you take them to court, the court to do, go, come, go, come, go, come unto you yourself. You just fed up. They will do you go come go come go come go come they will he will never pay the money they will never arrest him they will never arrest him until you get tired and stop following that case summon them take money in your hand and summon them summon them mention their name seven times and say i summon you with this money in my hand i summon you through the altar of gegal pay my money else you never get peace I provoke the altar of Gagal against you. When you drink water, let the water, let this altar torment you. When you eat, let the altar torment you. When you are in your secret place, let the altar of Gagal, the fire on this altar, torment your life until you release my money, until you release my son, until you release everything that, that, that belongs to me. I summon you. May you never have peace until you release my husband, until you release my wife, until you release my son. I summon you with this money in my hand. Hmm. Some ladies, when they come, before they think of coming for your husband, they go to Babalao. They visit Sangoma for ointment, for cream. They just go for it. Mm. Before they call your husband, the cream is already on their face. They apply makeups, makeups, and they call your husband. You'll be in the same room with your husband. Your husband say, I'm going. Oh, I'm going to work. I will come in the evening. That is all. You'll not hear from your husband again. The next time you hear your husband is getting married to another woman, summon them. You can't labor in vain. Summon them when somebody is dealing with you physically, when somebody wants to abuse you, when somebody wants to triumph over you, you summon them to the elders, summon them through this altar, summon them. This is like a Paris. This altar of Giga is like a palace. Summon anybody that wants to make life better mm -hmm. for you, anybody that doesn't want you to, to see peace, anybody that wants to frustrate you, summon them. Say with this money in my hand, Lord God Almighty, I summon them through the altar of Giga. Pass judgment for me. Pass judgment for me. I summon anybody. That has vowed not to let me live. I summon them. Anybody that has vowed not to let me move forward in life. I summon them through this altar. Pass judgment for me. If they deserve to die, let them die. If they deserve to paralyze after passing judgment, let them paralyze. If they deserve to go dump without talking again, let them go dump. If they deserve to go to prison after passing judgment, put them in prison. I summon them. I summon anybody making life better for me in my working place, in my business, in ministry, with this money, oh Lord. Let me go and bring another one. I, I want to do another one. Just wait for me. Uh, yes. Wait for me. I myself, I want to use 50 because I have some people to sell on also. Mm. I have some people to, to deal with them. I have some people to deal with them. This for my son. This for my myself. Mm. I also am part. Oh. I'm part. I'm part. Anybody. Keep holding your money. Keep holding your money. Anybody. 
that has vowed not to let me move forward in life. Anybody that has vowed not to let me have peace in life, Lord God Almighty, this moment I summon them through the altar of Gagal. Pass judgment for me, O Lord. Pass judgment for me, O Lord. Pass judgment for me, O Lord. When you pass judgment and they deserve to go to prison, Father, relocate them to prison. When they deserve to die, push them to their grave, bury them alive. If they deserve to paralyze, Lord God Almighty, take them strength in their leg. Take their strength in their thighs. Take their strength in their waist. If they deserve to go down for the rest of their life, I summon them, oh Lord. The money that you are using to summon, don't eat, oh. Because if you eat it, that thing will come unto you. I tell you. Yes. Yes. Don't eat it. Because every word that we speak here, I personally, I don't joke with my words. I don't speak anyhow because when God called me, he told me if I curse, it will work. If I bless, it will work. That is why when I'm angry, I'm so quiet. When I'm angry, I take my cold water to sip because I don't want to speak much when I'm angry. Yes. So everything that we are doing here, it is going to work and you come and testify. I'm doing it on camera. We don't usually do direction. It just comes once a time. When I was coming, I didn't have in mind to do any direction. It just came. It just came. It just came. Hold it up again. We are going to our father's house. Our mother's house. Any uncle. <laughs> you can put the cash in your account. You can go and put it, deposit it in your account before you transfer it. If you transfer through your phone, you go and deposit it in your account. You go and deposit. Yes, deposit it in your account before you, you transfer it. Yes, just go and put it in the bank and you later transfer, you later transfer it. We are going. We are going. He said, Mama, I'm using my country, but I can your country money, can I take it? to my church whatever you do it whatever you do it you discuss it after we close let me don't just <laughs> interrupt let me let me just finish so that i don't forget because today we came to deal with some people we came to deal with some people say as i left this morning my god i forgot my cell phone we are going to our father's house our mother's house any auntie that has vowed not to let us have peace. Any uncle in that family that has vowed not to let us have peace, say, Lord God Almighty, I summon this auntie, mention their name, mention the name of that uncle, mention the name of that sister-in-law, that brother-in-law, father pass judgment for me, I cannot fight, the Bible says vengeance belongs to God, so some battles you cannot go and fight them physically, we summon them through the altar of Gagal, anybody, oh my God, on the media, Anybody in my church, anybody in my school, anybody in my working place that is making life better for me, that is frustrating me in that place, I summon that person through the altar of Gagal. Anybody being a judge, listen to me. Today we came to do something. Though. I wanted to close, but it keeps going. So let's, let's finish. Any judge or any lawyer that have taken bribe, to pass wrong judgment. Listen to me. Any judge, any lawyer, those that will be going to, uh, that, those that have court cases, that will be going to court this month, take this direction serious. Take this direction serious. Those that, are, that have issues with worldly people, problems in court with people that are content, people that can pay the police, people that can pay the lawyer, people that can pay judges. We don't have any money to pay a judge. We only have 50. We only have 100. We only have 20, 30 in our hands. Lord, we summon any judge that will speak against me in the courtroom. I summon any lawyer that will try to pass a wrong judgment for the past judgment before the day is due. Pass judgment for me. I summon them through the altar of Gagal. 
Through this altar, I summon anybody planning to pass wrong judgment for them to take my father's inheritance, for them to take my mother's inheritance, for them to take something that belongs to me. I summon anybody that want to inherit me, that want to disinherit me. That want to take what belongs to me, what my father have left for me, what my mother have left for me, what I have left for labor for my children. Anybody who wants to take it away from them, Lord, I summon this person, mention their name. You know them. You know them. Mention their name. Mention their name. You know them. I summon them in the name of Jesus Christ. Again, we are coming. Anybody behind the numerous miscarriages, this goes to those that, 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 that are summoning for uh, the fruit of the womb. Say anybody that are behind the, the numerous miscarriages that I'm, ha I'm having, the miscarriages, there is a hand. When you go through a series of miscarriage, you get pregnant to miscarry. You get pregnant after three months, you see broad. You get pregnant after four months, you see broad. Sometimes when God opens your eye, you see either two people or three people stepping under your abdomen, stepping on your abdomen. One of our sisters, she got pregnant, and the night that she got mis she had miscarriage. I was on my bed, and I had it. I the Lord revealed to me. I saw two ladies. They were stepping. They tied her down, and they were using their legs, stepping on her abdomen, stepping. And I saw her breathing. As soon as I wake up, my phone was ringing. Mommy. She said, "I say you have had miscarriage, right?" She said, "Mommy, how did you know?" I say, "Yes. I just wake up from that dream. They were stepping, stepping." And this thing has been continually. She has had three different miscarriages. Summon those people. Summon those demons. Summon those personalities. It could be your best friend. It could be your auntie. It could be your uncle. You cannot suspect. Just summon them. Vengeance belongs to God. Summon them through this altar. Say anybody that is, that is responsible for the numerous miscarriages that I'm going through. Lord, I summon them through the altar of Gagal with this money in my hand. Lord God Almighty, I summon them. 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 In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. Say anybody. Let's come again. Those that are sick. I've not forgotten you. If you are sick. And there is something behind that sickness. If you are sick. And that sickness was. You know. This is not ordinary sickness. Doctors have even confirmed to you. That we can't find anything in you. We can't find anything in your husband. We can't find anything in your, in your, in your wife. We don't know the reason why she is not well. Someone those behind it. Say, Lord God Almighty, this money in my hand, I used to summon anybody behind my disease, anybody behind my sickness, through the altar of Gagal, I summon them, through the altar of Gagal, I summon them, anybody behind the attacks, the continuous attacks, anybody that has been secretly stealing from me, secretly taking things from me, secretly feeding me in my dream to, to Increase diseases in me, Lord God Almighty. Through this money in my hand, I summon that person. I summon that person. I use this amount, Lord God Almighty. I summon that person through the altar of Gagal. 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 I summon them. As I put the money on this altar, Lord God Almighty, pass judgment for me. Pass judgment for me. Pass judgment through the altar of Gagal. If you have called this woman, Father, let me see your hand. Speak for me. Speak for me. Speak for me. Before this month ends, Lord, give me testimony to come and share. Before this month ends, let this altar, let the altar of Gagal stand for me. Fight for me. I'll destroy any power that has been miscarrying things in my womb, that has been taking things from my life, that has been shaving my hair. Anytime I sleep, 
I summon them, all those behind it. If it's my sister, pass judgment. If it is my brother, pass judgment. If it is my own mom, pass judgment for me. I cannot wrestle with my mom. I can't fight with my daddy. Pass judgment for me through the altar of Gengal. Lord God Almighty, today I summon them. I summon them in your presence with this money in my hand. I summon them. Pass judgment for me. Pass judgment for my son. Those that have taken the brain of my son, wherever they've taken that brain, uh, if they paid money to take that brain from my son, to make my son remain empty, I refund this money through this altar. Lord God Almighty, pass judgment and declare restoration upon the life of my son. Let my son's destiny be released. Let my daughter be released. Let my daughter have peace. Let my son have peace. Any trouble troubling the destiny of my son, troubling the health of my son, troubling the health of my daughter, Lord God Almighty, I summon them through the altar of Gagal. Pass judgment for me. Pass judgment for me. Pass judgment for me. Pass judgment for me. I summon them, Lord God Almighty, pass judgment. Pass judgment. Pass judgment for me. Lord God Almighty, pass judgment. Ah, pass judgment. And I will be grateful to you. Do it for me. Do it for me. And I will give you all the praises. In Jesus Christ's mighty name. Take your water. Let me provide your water and we go. Take your water. We've done. We have done. Take your water. Let me provide your water and we go. Our time is up. Our time is up. You take the WhatsApp number. Take the WhatsApp number after. If you don't have the WhatsApp number after it, just speak to me. Uh, plus 233-544-947273. Plus 233-544-947273. Yes. That's the number. Plus two three three five four four nine four seven two seven three. When I finish, I'll post all the all our bank details. Whatever you want to give, you want to donate, just do it. Whatever you want to do it. If you want to donate in uh, uh, Nigeria, I'll give you. I'll put the bank details. You just chat me. I'll give the bank. If you want Kenya, whatever you want to, just go and deposit it. Go and deposit it. If you want South Africa, I'll give you bank details. If you want PayPal, I will send the link to you. If you want send wave what remedy just chat me because of our time i will speak to you on whatsapp lift uh, your cup of water or your bottle of water let me pray over over the water for you before we go let me pray over the water today my patient is so happy i thank god yeah he's so he's smiling from morning to night he's very very he's very happy from night from morning to night sometimes the whole day he, he doesn't even want to speak to you he's so angry you speak he doesn't want to even hear your voice in the house but i give god a praise i give god a praise god is still working on him lift your water lord god almighty i turn this water into your precious blood that was shared on the cross of calvary father i turn this water from its natural state into its supernatural state let it be re-empowered with your healing powers as this water enters the body of your people, Father, let the heart that is finding it difficult to breathe well, let it begin to rest. Let the organs that are supposed to distribute blood for the body to function well as this water enters the body. Father, release everything in the heart, in the chest area that is under attack. As this water enters the body, release everything in the stomach area, the organs in the stomach, the intestine, the ovu, the ovary, Father, the uterus, oh my God, the fallopian tube. Father, release all in the name of Jesus. Jesus Christ of Nazareth, as this water enters the body, any severe pains in the head, let the pain disappear. Any attack that has been true, true water, true air, true wind, to hit your people, as this water enters the body, let that thing leave, let 
fibroid melt. Let every excess gas in the body as this water enters the body of your people. Father, let them receive. Oh my God, let them receive inner peace. Inner peace. Let them receive he healing. Let your healing power through this water possess your people. Let your people all receive new strength, new power in Jesus Christ's mighty name. I pray, take your water. Amen. Thank you, Lord God Almighty. As your children are moving from here, let them come with testimony because your word has made me understood that whatever your spirit is, there is liberty. Bring testimonies. Let your children bring testimonies after this midnight broadcast. Let them testify that really you have worked for them. Father, work on them. Guide them. Protect them. Deliver them from the hands of the enemies. Go before them. Destroy every snail. Make their crooked places straight and connect them to the right path. In Jesus Christ's mighty name, I pray for you. Amen. God bless you. God bless you. If today is your first time, you are welcome. My name is Precious Appear Gifty. You can call me the Lioness Preacher. Yes. We meet, God willing, tomorrow we will meet for Bible studies. Yeah, we need the Word of God on a daily basis. We need the Word of God. Uh, as we get freedom every day, we must share the Word of God. We must study, we must draw closer to God through His Word. Through his word. So God willing, tomorrow you will come. If you are not able to join us live, don't worry. You can watch us on YouTube. When you go to YouTube, search Precious Appear Gifting Ministry. Precious Appear Gifting Ministry. Instagram is the Lioness Preacher. Our Facebook, other Facebook page is the Lioness Preacher. I created that page as a spare. So if you have not liked that page, like it. Because Facebook can block us at any day, at any time. Then we go there to have our midnight prayers. That is why I have created that page as a standby page because I know how I deliver the truth. The world doesn't like the truth. The truth irritates them. It provokes them. That is why in the Bible, wherever the apostles go, they stone them because they speak the truth. The word of God is a do it's like a double-edged sword. It passed through. It cut through the, the veins. So when you preach like that, it provoked them and they broke you. So when they broke us here, we move to the other page, the lioness preacher. So if you have not followed the page, if you have not liked the page, you can like it. So that when you don't see us here, go and search the lioness preacher or you search on YouTube. Precious appear gifting ministry. I always make this announcement because... They can do anything at any time. God bless you. Lift up your hands as we share the grace. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the sweet fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us now and forevermore. Amen. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow us all the days of our life, and we shall dwell in the house of the Lord forever and ever so help me god amen god bless you see you on whatsapp and see you god willing tomorrow shalom